Hi, I'm Matt Moskal, MicroTorque Product Specialist with Atlas Copco. I'm pleased to be here today to introduce the portable QA Station MT. Traditionally, tool verification is performed in a facility by pulling a tool offline and moving it back to a tool crib or calibration area in order to perform the tool verification. This can be a problem because while the tool is offline, either a spare tool needs to be supplied or the line has to be down. QA Station MT changes all that. QA Station MT is portable, can be moved to the line in order to perform tool verification on the line, either during a break or as an automated process. So let's take a closer look at QA Station MT. The QA Station MT consists of a portable stand, a 36 volt battery. Part of the stand includes this charging unit, which allows you to charge the battery while it's on the stand, and also powers the unit for the MTF6000 controller, which is also included. It also includes a cable to connect to a stationary transducer. However, please note that the stationary transducer, the hard joint and the soft joint are not included, and these need to be ordered separately. So there we have the components of the station. Now let's talk about functionality. QA Station MT has three verification modes. The first verification mode is a standalone mode. Standalone mode is designed for non-smart tools, such as clutch tools, or competitors' tools, where they do not have the capability to connect to the controller. When this is used, the controller is set up with the target torque, and then the rundowns are performed. When they are performed, we store the measurement data, torque versus time graphs, the controller model and serial number, the transducer model and serial number. The second QA station mode is barcode scan mode. In this mode, barcodes are generated by Tools Talk MT version 7.16 and above. These barcodes contain additional information about the tool that's being verified. This information is included inside the barcode and contains typically the model and the serial number. It also contains information for the QA controller to set it up to the proper value. On the MTF6000, we have a separate verification mode. The verification mode will place the barcode on the screen so that you can scan and put that information into the QA station. Aside from the other information that was provided during the standalone mode, this mode is able to provide the same information as standalone mode, but it is also able to provide information on the model and serial number of the installation tool. The third mode, which is the most efficient and provides the most data, is the USB sync mode. For this mode, the MTF6000 controller must be used for the installation tool. Information is shared between the two controllers via USB cable. This USB cable is the same cable that is used for Tools Talk MT for programming. As the verification is run, the installation controller will provide all that information over to the QA station MT. This mode is able to record the same information as the previous two modes, but it is also able to provide the torque trace information as well as the rundown information. Once the verification is complete, the data needs to be viewed. This can be done in one of two ways. The first way is for the first two modes the data can be pulled up by exporting a CSV file from the QA station controller. In the third mode, the USB sync mode, the data also can be viewed real time through Tools Talk MT. For more information, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thank you.